Thank you. Hallelujah. You have on your table the right knowledge of God. Hallelujah. I pray your, your joy will remain permanent. What a wonderful joy. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, viewers, thank you for your time and for your love for God. Last week, I, I believe and I, I promise that we continue the subject we have started already. And uh, if it is just your 10 minutes or 5 minutes, you just give me before we go into the next line of action. And I, I could remember the, the subject matter. The main thing, the main thing, when you talk of Christianity, what is the main thing? Is it the work we do or relationship we keep? The main thing about Christianity is not the work we do, but the relationship we maintain. And the atmosphere produced by that relationship. Are you with me? That was what the subject we talked about last week. I repeat once again, the, the main thing about Christianity is not the work we do, but the relationship we maintain and the atmosphere produced by that work. Produced by what? That was the subject matter last week. And we have received a lot of email concerning this. We have one or two words to say before we proceed. Hallelujah. Yes, we were talking about the relationship and the, the atmosphere produced a proper relationship brings a proper what? Atmosphere. Are you with me? So, can we, shall we call this hindrance to prayer? Hindrance to prayer. Hindrance to what? A proper relationship brings a proper what? A proper what? Atmosphere. Yes, I will just give you some good example of what I'm talking about. A good example you use to be a drunker, a smoker, just measure any bad habits before. But now you are a Christian. I mean, you are born again. You have stopped them. But the urge for it still there. Question. Are you really born again by God's standard? Are you really born again by what? God's standard. Since the hodge still there. And we know what the, the war hodge means. Very tormenting, very irritating, discomfort, painful, distress, distress, very distressed. Agony, what, what an agony. When you have urge to do something, what an agony. Affliction. <laughs> you can regard it as an affliction. In this case, only God can know that you are born again. But people out there, 
They have not been seeing you smoking, lying, grumbling, this, that. They will see you as what? Bound again. This is the case with church people today. Only God can know that you are born again. The fact that people do not see you again in your former bad attitude, orientation, character, disposition does not mean you are truly born again. Only God Almighty, who knows the heart of man. Remember the book of Matthew 5, verse 8. Blessed are those in pure, in heart, they shall see God. Blessed are those pure in art, for they shall see who? See God. The fact that people do not see you again in your former bad attitude, character, disposition, does not mean you are truly born again. This is the case with church people today. God's standard for born againism, Christianity, blessed are those in heart, in pure for they shall see who? For they shall see God. In 1 Corinthians 2, verse 16, you say, we have the might of God. The mind of God is pure. Pure. I say I want to take your 10 minutes. We are going towards that. Let's take a, a passage in the Bible. Let me take you to the book of Psalm. Sixty-six, verse 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. If I regard who? Eh? In my heart, to regard iniquity is to have hodge. When the hodge comes, the iniquity is talking. That is the voice of iniquities. That is the voice of who? Iniquities. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. A good example, after stopping your bad habit, you still have hodge. The Lord will not hear you. You still have hodge for them. You still have for them, hodge for them. The Lord will not hear you. To regard the iniquity in the heart means that there is salt, that there is some salt 
S O R T or degree of sympathy with sin. To regard iniquity in the heart means that there is some sort or degree of sympathy with sin. state of your mind determine the kind of dream you have. Can you see the, the cause of your attack and spiritual attack and you are, you are born again? The state of your mind determine the kind of dream you have. Can you see the cause of attack? Nightmare. I want to leave here. This message is too fundamental and this is the standard of God. Once again, the fact that people see you as Free this, free that, free that does not mean you are free. I mean, the fact that people do not see you again in your former habit your former bad habit does not mean you are truly born again. Only God that know the heart of man can Let someone say, hindrance to prayers. Blessed are those in pure in hearts. They shall pray and their prayer shall answer. Remember, faith, we talk about, I have faith in God, I have faith in God, I have faith in God. The only faith places him, but what is faith? Faith is of man's heart. It be hard to do this, hard to do that keep tormenting you, where will faith in God? Faith in God of man's heart. Not of man's mind or flesh.
This is the case with church people today. I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm born again. Why can't you allow the atmosphere to say this? What, what do I mean by atmosphere? Atmosphere means the atmosphere you belong will tell people you are born again. If truly you are born again, the atmosphere you live will truly produce that blessing. Relationship will keep and the atmosphere produced by that relationship tell that you are born again. If I'm standing here and say, I'm prophet TV Joshua, that may not well appropriate you by the atmosphere surround me will prove to you that I'm a prophet to be the Anywhere I move to, that atmosphere will surround me. Tell people it's a born again. When you are coming with your attack, you will see that something will resist you. Yes, there is a big hand following this man. When you cause this man, you realize that the cause would not reach him. Oh, there is a big hand follow this man. What you are trying to be to do and seems impossible, when the man attempted, it become possible. You know, ah, there's a big girl. You begin to see those atmosphere, you say, ah, no, what is not normal, what is not just possible for man, seems to be possible for him. Well, there's a finger of God finger of God. It is finger of God that made impossible possible. <clears throat> faith must be confessed and faith must be worked out in action. Faith must be tested by tribulation. Tell your neighbor, faith must be confessed with the mouth. Tell your neighbor once again. Faith must be confessed with the mouth. Faith must be worked out in action. Faith must be tested by tribulation. Thank you. Thank you. I want to leave you and uh, let's go to the next because uh, we, we have many assignments the Lord has committed to us today to do. So I know you are blessed with and uh, this will answer some of your questions. So we, we continue where we stop next week and uh, we stop, we continue where, here tomorrow, next week. And uh, we, I will not leave you until we finish this uh, issue of relationship and the atmosphere produced by that relationship. Very important because, uh, like I have said, the situation with church today, church people today, once they come out and say, 
I confess I'm a smoker, but today I've, st I've stopped smoking. You will not see them around smoking, truly. I'm a, 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 a criminal now, I've stopped. But truly, you have stopped, you, you cannot see them in that action again. But that, that's, you should allow God to mark it. You know what I mean by mark it? After you have finished the job, God will say, I should carry this, and I carry it. It's not just enough for me to come and say, yes, I must make it, I have carried it, and yes, God said I should carry it, I have carried it, yes, I'm a child of God. No, God needs to know by what authority you carry it. Because also, Satan can carry that thing. The spirit, evil spirit can help to carry that thing. But there is, it's always attached with pain. Evil spirit can give you money, but with pain. It can give you everything you talk about with pain. Pain. So God wants to know. It's not enough for you to say, yes, I've, I've got it, I've got it. Wait for God to say you have got it. After you have successfully finished the job, you need to wait for God to mark it. When God mark it, he will come out to say, yeah, you have made it. So in the same day, if you now say, I'm born again because uh, you used to be a drunkard, you have stopped this, I'm born again because I used to be a liar, I have stopped it, I'm born again because I used to be a very bad boy, I've stopped it. People have seen me now, I've, I've stopped those nonsense. Yes, the world will see me as a born again. But what of the urge? The urge to smoke, to do those barber things, still tormenting you. An urge, very distressed, very discomfort, is an affliction. It's, it's a big agony. This is what many of you are, chased, are, are, are facing today. This is challenges you are having. You say you don't love money. You don't. You don't. You say you don't give your time for money again. Before now, you love money so much. But you no, know, no. But that hurt for money is so much. It's tormenting you. It's so tormenting you. It is because of this hurt of. Uh, fornication, immorality, that actually now lead people to pornography today. They say, no, Chibi, God said, thou shalt not fornicate. Okay? I'm born again. I'm not fornicate. Nobody say you're fornicating, but you are doing pornography, masturbation, you are, you are into that. That is what you resort to. It is that hodge. But people around will never see you. Even when a woman touches you, say, no, don't touch me, I'm holy. When a man touches you, you say, no, 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 don't touch him, I'm a woman of God. But only God who knows the heart of man can say, you are born again. Because blessed are those pure in heart, for they shall see what? So, thank you. Um, yes, I want to appeal to those who are waiting to share their testimony. We have listened to testimony. Please, I will be very happy if you can just give me, uh, yes, and uh, Maybe after the prayer, we can come back to that. And thank you. Um, yes, a lot of things are happening all over the world. You will see for the past um, two to three, four months now, I've been remain silent. Because I'm resu, I would not call it the hodge you are used to have. My own hodge is, <laughs> I want to talk. But if I talk now, they'll say this, Prophet is always prophesying doom. It's always when it's, it will not, it will not say 
uh, Nigeria will buy 10 planes, but he will say the plane will crash. He will not say Nigeria will discover oil, boom, at, in one state, but he will say the oil will dry. The best thing you are expecting me to talk about is your right. It, it is your right to have those things. But God always send us to warn you against who? Eh? Hey, I mean, he will warn you, please, Satan is coming, oh, be careful. That is the most important. That is 99% of message God sent us. To tell you, this Satan is coming, oh, be careful. That is 99% message. Even the 1% message which we say, uh, yes, you discover the oil boom, you discover it's unnecessary for any man or God to be telling you that. Because it's your right. That is what you have been praying for. God always send us to pray to tell you what you are not praying for that is coming. But what you are praying for, God does not send us to be telling you, you know, you pray for the breakthrough. Yes. If breakthrough is coming, it's of necessary for man of God to tell you breakthrough is coming. That is exactly what you are praying for. But poverty, which you are not praying for, if this poverty hardship is coming, God only send us, tell this man poverty hardship is coming, oh, because he's not expecting it, so that he can guide himself and prepare and pray against it. That is what God send us. But when you now turn it around, I keep asking God, God, please, this message of uh, this, that, that, uh, this thing will happen, bomb will happen, that will happen, this, 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 this. For the past four, four months now, I've been restful, God, it's like a child want to, to disobey. Go and tell your people, this will happen. Let them do this, let them do that, let them do that, 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 that. You remember last message I gave to Kenya last time, and I told you that the thing will continue. It's in the video. Last time when I told you about the children will be attacked in Kenya, it was shown. I started when the plane, a private jet crashed, and a minister was died inside that. I said it, and then I said they will attack the children, son, I mean school children. And that, I say, I'm seeing another attacking coming. Last two weeks here, I saw this. I don't know how to put it. I pray to God, what can we do about all this? If I now stand here two weeks and begin to say, ah, I'm seeing a, a, a supermarket, a big mall. Look, don't go there. This is what is going to happen. This is what is, uh, the man has come again. The man has come. Look at his mouth. How does he? He doesn't tell us that we build more, more, more. One supermarket, he said, attack is coming. So I get it. The video is there. I will ask them to play. Last time I say, I'm seeing this attack will continue. Two weeks ago, I saw it coming. But the name given to me is just more supermarket. I said, what? If I now say this now, and people stop going to supermarket, what will people say again? They will attack me. Are you talking of what is happening in America? Last time when I told you, I said this will continue, continue, continue. I mean, so it will have been, I asked God, there's something I asked God now. I said, God, I'm praying, go also to raise other men of God to see what I'm saying. So that when I'm saying it, they confirm me. But if I keep saying it and nobody also say it to see what I'm talking about and when it happened, the, the attack, the I hope, I hope you quite understand what I'm saying. That God to raise... <laughs> so God should raise, raise your people. You are, you, you are the owner of the heart. You can change people's heart. Raise them when, so that when I'm saying something there, or when they first say it, I too can stand to say what this man is saying is true. Obey what this man is saying. I saw it too. But each time I do say something, seems many ministers also begin to pray. What even surprised me nowadays is that 
Each time I stand up to say, this is what I, I, I saw. I'm seeing this happen. In the newspaper, may some minister will gather up, will come together and begin to pray that that prophet of doom, that message will not come to pass. God should cancel it. I say, the, the message I'm saying is not from God. I say, what I'm saying is not from the same source. I hope, I hope you quite understand. So I've seen it. I will bring some paper out. It's not one, it's not two, it's not I buy them. And I say, ah, I could remember the last time I said, oh, this is a plane crash in this country. They should pray. And when the thing was coming closer, I said, this is what I'm seeing coming. Please, what can we do about it? Very unfortunate. Whether Melissa, I don't know, they just come together. They start praying. They pray. They put it in the paper that some minister say that we, we cancel it, we ban it. We, uh, I say, hey, they are started banding in God. I see, the, what I'm saying is not the same source. Okay, what, uh, what made me to stop talking about football too? I could remember one game, African nation, Nigeria. I said it here that the country will not qualify. And I'm seeing so so number, they will win you people. They will come here and win you people. Ah, they wrote me a letter. I have a letter at home. After I finished the survey, they wrote me a letter and they signed it. Men, some men of God, who say they are pastor to, to pray for the football. They say, if we win, we come and burn your church. <laughs> and we want to tell you that we cancel your prophetic dumb doom. Ah, I said, so, so it, the whole thing has become like that. It is a trade by Batana. But at the end of the day, what I say was, what happened? Everybody remained quiet. <laughs> Can you see? Can you see? So those things, unless the vision is positive, you you receive applause from people. Ah, I remember the, my our Limburg country, our country Ghana, when the whole election election, I just remain silent. I said, oh, "Wow, I will remain silent this time, because they will give me to whatever I say I'm aware." But when I see a lot of letters I have received, and even the superpower nature was saying people should leave the country, I was seeing everything. A lot of people travel outside the country and say, ah, I need to talk. Look, your country, they are law abiding country. What I'm saying, your country, they are not interested in plugging the country into war. If they are a peaceful country, it can never happen in that country. Whichever way it go, the leader, they are ready to bow for the law. So, that is it. And I, when I was talking, I said, I'm not professor, <laughs> but I was professor. <laughs> You know, this, this is the way our Lord Jesus Christ talk. That is how Jesus talk. When I say I'm not professor, you know, nobody attack me. They say, he's given advice. <laughs> I say, look, I'm not, I'm not professor, you know, this is not prophecy. I'm just telling you what, to, what your country is up to. And everywhere, nobody attacked me. Because I say I was advising. Whereas the world was pregnant, I was prophesying. <laughs> so what I'm just telling you what, but I would not. God said, look, go ahead and speak my word to your country, and history will tell. You know what I mean by history? The event will tell. So I would not stop. So, please, so whatever the vision, I will let you know.
because I will not just put it in the bedroom and begin to pray, God, when I know that I, I alone cannot change many of these things. But to come out to talk, I look at what people are going to say, and I say, no. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. So maybe when I move and I'm coming for mass prayer, the message, the prophetic word I have for the war, I will, I will let you know. Amen. I know many of you have many questions you want to ask, but you don't have opportunity to see me and to tell me. The, the, what is going through your mind is, where is our prayer stool? Is that not the question you want to ask me? Yes. Sir, sir. Where's the question you want to ask? Uh, when are we having the prayer stool? <laughs> uh, I did ask the question because I trained last time everybody me a lot of this, that, that, that. Yes. Prayer stool I show here. After I show God, the God said, yes, for your people. But people others that are not of God will use this advantage to perpetrate evil. You have to look for a material that cannot be used. You know there was pole, there was pipe, and the pipe had hole. You know when you start carrying, put it inside your leather voice and the, the customer want to check your bag, ah, this my prayers too, what is this my prayers too, there's nothing by the time they open the prayer stool, you call prayer to the inside the pool. <laughs> That's it. Where there is no vision, people pray. You now will not do anything that will not glorify his name. God said, look, that, you know, is pool and there is hole inside. Some evil people, they will use it. And by the time they cut them, they say it's a prayer stool from where? Because it's mainly for those who are traveling. So I am asking God, what material shall we use? If you talk of Baloo, the evil people, they are also there. At least you carry palm. Huh? And your palm has hole, big hole. Huh? <laughs> and you cannot use your mouth to blow the Baloo. So we are asking God, but at the same time, God now say, don't worry. In this world, he has given us a special grace. That is what is coming now, you'll be very happy. Very, very happy. If, if God, look at the anointing water. Before we come out with that, God, the, 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 God keeps saying, this thing you are using, people will frame it, they will copy it, they will pour something inside it and send it to the colleague. Do it this way, it is impossible for anyone to do that. When you open it, you see the seal, the stamp. It's not possible for anyone to go to that extent and do that. You can see the stamp and the Z on top of it. And even you to open it is difficult. The question you need to ask yourself, how can this thing be covered like that, lamped like that? Even the syrup you are buying at the chemist from doctor, they can't just keep it like that. It's because of what God say about it. What is coming now? I don't want to measure, but I'll just give you the picture. Like my father sitting down now. You are not supposed to sit down like this. You should have something you continue to chat with. Every good word in your mouth. Every good word. When it comes out, you will be very surprised. Even when you are inside the plane, it will always with you. You chat with it. 
every good wear, if it is the wear in the name of Jesus. Because this hodge, I realize that our ability to accept Jesus genuinely, a hodge need to be broken. Everybody, 10 people, if 10 people come out to say, I, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior, only one of them genuinely accept Jesus. The rest nine, it is true, they have stopped those bad character, but the hush are still there. You suddenly see somebody who is very intelligent, who is very clever, who is very fast. You can see him, you can talk broadly, very, 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 I mean, articulate. Suddenly, when he accepts Jesus, he will now begin to wonder this. You say, ah, is it Jesus who accept that told you like this? Ah, ah, which kind of Jesus is this? Which kind of Jesus is this? Do you know the reason? Ask me what is the reason? Because you stop him from smoking, but he has hearts to smoke. And that word is too tormenting. He cannot listen well again. If you don't give him smoke immediately, he will turn to a crazy man. And you know, you have many children at home that are very bored. When you travel, hey, yes, I'm telling you, it's not like that. You say, ah, John, you are very clever, very intelligent, very bored. Suddenly, you accept Jesus. You are now, mommy, what are you saying? It is Jesus that said we should talk quietly. Mommy, mommy will start crying and say, which kind of Jesus is this? Oh my God. It is urge that is tormenting me. And if you, the pile of urge is very, urge. When you have urge, ah, no, 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 no. The way you have to know is that when you want, you stop someone from smoking. And it's not God that stop him. He may commit suicide. It leads to loneliness, rejection, isolation, and make people to commit suicide. Depression. As smoking and drinking also cause depression people, so also when God is not involved, in stopping you from doing it, it may turn to another thing. When you say in the name of Jesus, your heart will tell you that where whom are you calling? Go and smoke, Joe. A brilliant child, when hodge come, it becomes dull. If I'm talking brilliant child, a child that is very brilliant, very intelligent in the school. You can, you know it's best in the school. When Hodge for something come over him, he become dull. Yes. You will not understand what is happening. When you read, the mind is not there. He doesn't understand what is reading. Irritation, comfort, restless, Leave people not to be able to sleep. You see people taking drug tablet to sleep. Many people that are unable to sleep, they say a sleepless night, is that the cause of your problem? Out of ten, eight of them are caused by hodge. Hodge to do something. When you have a lady, and the lady has hodge to meet man, and you parents want to stop him from, or you ask him to go to church, and spiritually God is not involved in the conversion. And he come out and say, I accept this as my Lord and Savior today, and, and the urge to do this is over. And that word is there. If you keep him at home, he may run mental. Or commit suicide. You just see him shrink. Shrink in the sense that uh, diminish, slim, and becoming so tiny, you say, ah, you, you eat, why are you lean? Why is this lean? What the odd 
church, let me tell you the Kasaziki, everybody has a camera. Oh, if you stop people from doing, drinking, smoking, that, and God is not involved, the camera he has in memory here, he, he will be rewinding it. He will not do those things, but he will be doing it. While sitting down alone, he will be doing it. If it is sex, he, will, he can make sex without sleeping with anyone. The camera is there. He will continue to rewind the past he has, those he has done in the past. The record is here to rewind it. Rewind it. Ten years ago, what he did, he will rewind it. Five years ago, what he did, he will rewind it. Last year, he will rewind it. He will continue to rewind the record. Rewinding the record, record of the past, record of the past, record of the past, and you will be satisfied, not as doing it. And that one is more tormenting than even doing it. We have record, camera here. We have camera here. And this camera recorded every event we have right from our path right from when we mature to know the right and wrong the record have, have recorded everything you have done in the past when we are born again and god is involved that is the record jesus destroyed us he will destroy the record and remove it from your memory that is the first thing where Jesus go when he is involved in your conversion. The first thing Jesus will do, the Holy Spirit will do. They say conversion. Conversion means he will go to that camera recording and remove it. Now it's over to you to begin to record your present now, your future now. And your present now, your future are for Jesus. So all record you have. All the record you have right from the beginning of your when you are mature will be will be removed and be destroyed. Now you will now begin to record your life in Christ Jesus now. But if Jesus is not involved in your conversion, and you just say no, I'm not, I'm not going to smoke again, I'm not going to drink again, I'm not going to do this again. Truly, you have the power to stop those things, but. If God is not involved, the record is there. You just begin to rewind it. If you cannot do more now, you have to rewind even in the past. And when you rewind it, you begin to see, 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 you enjoy it, see, but not like, because not to satisfaction. That is why it's very dangerous than doing it. Doing it, doing it, doing it, all those records, you rewind them back, back. But, but the one you want to pick out of what the one you have done in the past, you pick it one, 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 and begin to rewind and look and preview it and think about it. That is why you see those who have those serious or you only see them as if they have psychological war. Mm. The loss of memory is number one. They can easily forget anything just like that. Just like that. They just forget anything. They just absent of mind. They can stand and be looking. They forget themselves. They can even forget to eat food. They may not eat from morning to night. They will not have much for food because they are not satisfied their needs. So we talk about next week. We continue where we stop. And this is what our youth nowadays resort to. If you have a sister, you have brother, you have young, your children at home, you always see him alone. You see him say, hey, he's a very decent boy, very decent girl. Ah, it's too early to say that. The one is involved is more dangerous than going to hotel, which is very tormenting. Don't stand for your children and say, ah, no, I can stand for my child. My child is decent, my child is this. No, I'll fight to the battle. Uh, you are disabled yourself. Even you yourself. You are not even, you know a number of hordes you have that is tormenting you. And you know your children, we are exposed to technology, internet, and all of that. Everything we see today, given us those things.
But take this thing before I will stop. There is a camera. Everybody has camera. Once you are mature and you know the right and wrong, there is a camera here that's recording your journey. If you don't have access to nest anything, you can preview the one you have recording and, and play back and uh, do whatever you want to do. But if, when Jesus is involved in our conversion, it goes straight to t and it has it record, removing the camera and destroy it and give you a new camera for the new journey, new direction, new course. Rise up, rise up, rise up. If your faith is lifted up, let us see your hand. And uh, the, this message has really hit your, your, what the area of your life you have been thinking about. Uh, I mean, telling people I'm born again, I've studied this, but why am I still suffering? Blessed are those in what? In, for they shall see what? Hearts. Father, we are in your presence. Open the door of our heart. And connect us to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Say, connect me to the Holy Spirit. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Say, open the door of my heart. Oh Lord, open the door of my heart and connect me, Lord, to the Holy Spirit. Prayer. Abra sus labios, confiesa corazón y diga, Oh Señor, conecta me al Espíritu Santo. Abre la puerta de mi corazón. Je vais prier, ouvre la porte de mon cœur, Seigneur, et connecte-moi à ton Saint-Esprit. Prie. Open the door of my heart, Lord. La porte de mon cœur, Seigneur. And connect me. Y connect, connect me to the Holy Spirit. Al Espíritu Santo. Ouvre la porte de mon cœur, Seigneur, et connect. Abra sus labios y pide a Dios que abra la puerta de su corazón y que lo conecte al Espíritu Santo. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I can hear you. I can hear you. Remember the title of the message, Hindrance to Prayer. Hindrance to Prayer. Hindrance to Prayer. So you say, ah, this is what has been hindering me. Okay. The thing I close my eyes, no, I don't want to look at this. I'm a child of God. Okay, you are a child of God. You are a child of God by sight. You are a child of God by faith. And faith is of man heart. Oh, if I'm talking to you, let us see your heart. Look at. Come, Uncle. I look at Uncle and say, No, I don't want to look. This is temptation. This is temptation. I don't want to look. I'm a child of God. You are not a child of God by sight. You are a child of God by faith. And faith is of man heart. So if I say I don't want to look, but my heart is yearning for it. If my heart is not yearning for it, I will look 
I will look and I will laugh. I will just march and say, oh, how about you? Fine. I will just look and go on my own. If my heart is not yet for it, why should I complain? No. So you sit down. So this is the case with church people today. I think at this time you need this message. Like I've said, I was saying something which I did not say. Stop. I did not finish. I said something is coming that will help. That will help you. This word will go. Will go. I, for the past some years now, days, months now, I've been asking God. These people, when I, my 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 journey so far in this um, work of God, I realize that. Christianity today is all about. Uh, so I'm, I'm no more doing this. I'm no more doing that. But the urge to do them is still there. That is what Christianity is all about, and that is not God's standard. That is not God's standard. That is not God's standard. So I ask God, what is the way? What, what, something is coming on your way. I can't just wait. While you are at home anywhere, something is about to come that I'm, I have started talking about it. The, the urge, once you are delivered, the urge. No, the urge. No. To regard iniquity in our hearts. Means there is some sort or degree of sympathy with sin. And our heart is the communication point, contact point. Heart is our is contact point. The Bible says, he that believes has internal life. He that believes has internal life. It's not a, he that confesses. Confession is one, but that belief needs confession. Anyone can confess Jesus. Not everyone can say, I believe Jesus in truth and faith. He that believes has internal life. This may, the moment you believe, you have it. Believing is possessing. As soon as you believe, you receive. The moment you believe, you receive. Know that that, that that temptation will come, we understand that. But if God permits it, but if it's not permitted, if you are not tempted, they will to tempt you. God will not permit it. And if God permits it, he wanted to see something, to learn something, to know something. And you come out stronger. You may be seated. Uncle, can I talk to you? Let me go this side. Hallelujah.
Where can you go from his presence? I said to you, be delivered in the name of Jesus. We have talked of Hajj. And you know the word Hajj, very tormenting. Very painful. What, 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 a, what an agony when it comes. Hodge for something, hodge for something. That is the more reason why some of your sister and your brother run away and abandon home. And they will left home for one year, two years, three years, you will not see them until they satisfy themselves. And they cannot satisfy themselves until they are delivered. They could be hodge to key, hodge to do this, hodge to do that. A brother will run away. John arm robber, a robber, gang of robber, and begin to rob. Hodge to do it. How to steal, how to this, how to that. But when that hurt keep worrying you and you are not satisfied the hurt, ah. you know, the law cannot hear one. It, it's tough. It leads to many things. It can lead to hypertension, heart attack, a lot of things. You keep going to doctor, doctor cannot discover what has happened to you. You cannot eat. Father, I declare you free in the name of Jesus. See power over you be broken. 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 What and what Satan must have used to connect you, to disturb you. You love Jesus. Jesus is concerned about you. You know is the, the only way. But Satan used some medium, some chain to connect you to himself. And one of these connections is urge. And he will use it to connect you, to think about him. Be broken in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Say power over you be broken. Whatever Satan must have used to connect you to himself, be it tormenting, be it hurt, be it agony, be it sickness, be it disease, be it poverty, be it affliction, limitation, limitation. Whatever Satan must have used to connect you to himself, be broken in the name of Jesus. Power of idolatry, power of anger, power of lying, power of idolatry, power of hardship, poverty, immorality, unfaithfulness, disobedience, in the name of Jesus. Be broken, be broken, be broken. Say to yourself, Jesus loves me. Just as he does, any of apostles, any of his apostles, thank you, Lord.